Russia, if you're listening. With Valentine's Day approaching, I'm reminded of history's greatest love affairs, Antony and Cleopatra, Romeo and Juliet, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, oh, and Tiny Fingers and Vladimir Putin. Just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every U.S. intelligence agency has concluded that Russia did. Who do you believe? My second question is, would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you warn him to never do it again? Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be. Donald Trump, in a pathetic attempt to once again be relevant, is beginning his 2024 campaign and has decided to go all in again with this guy, Vladimir Putin, who at this moment is killing women and children in Ukraine. The Russians had left them where they fell, on the street, at their own homes. And has threatened the United States with nuclear war. So earlier today, Trump took to his right-wing version of Twitter to once again remind the world of his undying love and trust in this Russian president over his own United States intelligence. Here's the tweet. Remember in Helsinki when a third-rate reporter asked me essentially who I trusted more, President Putin of Russia or our intelligence lowlifes? So who would you choose, Putin or these misfits? A few points here. Trump not only chose Putin, again, over our FBI and CIA, but his comments fuel the violent mobs such as Oath Keepers and Proud Boys and right-wing extremists, all of whom threaten the lives of elected representatives and U.S. citizens with deep state rhetoric of stolen elections and conspiracies. The deep state is real in America and that you, the American people, see what is really going on. It's about a deep state trying to drag a crook across the presidential finish line. The deep state operatives who defy the voters to push their own secret agendas. The deep state is a right-wing talking point that has led to attacks on Democratic Governor Whitmer of Michigan, the shooting of protesters by Kyle Rittenhouse, and the attack on Paul Pelosi by a Trump supporter, to name a few. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What is Sorry, going on Robert, right I'm now? not getting an answer on Paul. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. Trump's relationship with Putin goes back 25 years, when Trump desperately pled with the Russian president to let him build a Trump Tower in Moscow. The Russia hoax. It was the beginning of a long relationship with Russian money from the early 2000s when an oligarch called the Fertilizer King purchased a Florida property from Trump for 10 times its value, then tore it down to years of borrowing money from Russians. Eric Trump told reporters, we don't rely on American banks. We have all the financing we need out of Russia. Now, Eric denied the quote, but money leaves a trail. Tax records indicate that the Trump Organization received substantial financing from Russia when his businesses were struggling in the mid-1990s and again during the Great Recession, since major U.S. banks had refused to loan him a dime. Most recently, Reuters reported that a group of 63 Russian billionaires have invested nearly $100 million in several Trump properties in Florida. Donald Trump Jr. famously said in 2008, Russians make up a pretty disproportionate cross-section of a lot of our assets. We see a lot of money pouring in from Russia. And of course, there's Paul Manafort, who was working for Ukrainian dictator Viktor Yanukovych. That is, until the Ukrainian people revolted and Yanukovych had to flee to Putin for safety. Manafort then went to work for Trump's presidential campaign in 2016 for free. You know, the one that Russia interfered in. The Russia hoax! is finally dead. But it wasn't a hoax, and even Trump admitted it in this tweet. I have full faith and support for America's great intelligence agencies. Always have. I accept our intelligence community conclusion that Russia's meddling in the 2016 election took place. Over the weekend, Trump intimated that his relationship with Putin was such that he could end the war in 24 hours. I will say this, even now, despite tremendous loss of lives and destruction of much of that country, I would have a peace deal negotiated within 24 hours. You could make a peace deal, you could make a deal for both right now, 24 hours. And maybe he could, but probably not in a way the Ukrainians would appreciate, as Trump and Fox and Republicans now seem fine in letting Russia have its way with a modern, first world country battling for its life. Oh, yes, good point. Good point, sir. We're so pleased you're here. Donald Trump wants to be president again for the same reason he did in 2016. As president, I will bring back peace through strength. He's broke, he's desperate, and he doesn't want to go to prison. Merrick Garland, if you're listening, it's fucking time. Goddamn right. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and follow us on YouTube at Really American. <laughs>